Hi! Hello! Today we are going to be making lemonade and since it's such a beautiful day, we're going to film outside. And since we don't really have a tripod, I'm going to be doing the selfie cam. That's why we're doing the selfie cam, yeah. yeah. And so we're going to be going totally organic. It's going to be so easy. You don't even have to squeeze the lemons or get your hands dirty. And first we're going to start out by picking some lemons. And above you'll see a lemon tree, which is her lemon tree. And we're going to go pick some of its fruit too. So. The way you tell if a lemon is on the verge of ripeness, it's like, say this one's doing all right. You give it three turns, and if it doesn't come off the tree, then just don't bother with it. So one, two, three, it's not off, so don't bother. This connection will break in three turns if it's ripe. So if you hold here and go one, two, three, and it's not off, then it's not a good lemon. So that and one, so if you go wait, one, see it's off on one. Now that we have moved to a table, we are going to show you how to make very easy lemonade. First, you're going to just cut your lemon, as so. And just like chunks. This here is a cocktail shaker, but you obviously don't have to just make cocktails with this. You can make iced coffee, um, Any iced drink, tea, really. anything iced, or anything that you want frothy and mixed. People make pearl milk tea with this too. But we're gonna make lemonade. If you don't have one of these, which like, it's okay. Well, if you, if you don't have one of these, any like container where you can shake it will work. Or actually, you really don't need, need to, to shake, shake it, it because you can just cut chunks like this and then stab it with a fork in a cup and then mix with a spoon or something. So we're just gonna throw these in here. And if you have time, you can actually like cut the zest off and throw it in here and then remove the white part and then cut this part in here, but it doesn't it's matter. It's really unnecessary. So this is a lemon slice, obviously, and I'll just run through like what each part does. So this is what you mostly think of as a lemon, like the juice and the pulp all come from here. And then this yellow part down here is the zest. So it's used in a lot of like savory cooking and pastry because it's like flavor without moisture. And then this white part here is the rind and it's really, really bitter, which is why like you can cut it out. But in this case, it's really not necessary. So when you zest things, you zest this part and then you, as soon as you see white, you stop. And then the, this white is actually pretty thick for depending on the species of lemon the white will either be like non-existent or really really thick you can also just strain the juice when you're done yeah take out all the and then just go ahead and then you take this mash it up. be careful not to put your eyes right in front of it because it might splash it yeah bad, bad idea <laughs> so if you ever played cooking mama it feels, it feels very similar it's like mashed up looking pulp. I'm done mashing this, so we're just gonna add a little bit of sugar. And I guess this kind of depends on how sweet toothy you are, but we like sugar, we like sugar. So we're just gonna add a couple teaspoons. Go ahead and mash it in, cause it'll just kind of mix with the lemon juice that you've already squeezed out. We're gonna throw in some ice cubes. And, and then, then you just add some water, as much water as you want. That's the main this part is, of your juice. This is what makes the juice. All right. Then just put the lid on. Make sure it's on really tight because otherwise it will start to seep out the sides. And you want to like shake up and down and side to side. So over some glasses with ice, just pour. And then that's where the strainer part comes in handy so that none of that like lemon weird stuff is getting into your lemonade. If you want to be really fancy, you can technically sugar rim the glasses, but 